Hey Capricorn, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to your March reading. We're going to be asking Tarot today, what can Capricorn anticipate? What's coming towards you? If you've never been to my channel before, this channel is completely dedicated to making you feel supported, cared about, loved. It's a community. Um, feel free to reach out in the comment section if you'd like for me to pray for you, if you'd like everybody else to join in. And I encourage everybody to do that because we're all equals in the game of praying and sending light for one another. Um, all right, so let's get right into it. I want to be as helpful and useful to you as possible. So we only take the jumpers. Uh, if this resonates, uh, please like and subscribe. Consider becoming part of the family. If it does not resonate for some reason, then go ahead. Sorry, I know it's just itchy then go ahead and check out your rising sign or your moon sign. That can often be very effective. All right, only taking the jumpers. If we fly out in reverse, then we read them that way for Capricorns. What's coming towards them? What they need to know about? All right. Beautiful. Magician, big manifesting energy. The Queen of Cups. Wow, an, wow, two aces, you guys. And then we've got the King of Pentacles. That's got your energy all over it. Um, wow, what a cool way to stay off, start off a reading. We've got you heavily manifesting in March, going into spring. We've got an individual here, could be a water sign, but either way, they're pretty emotionally um, in tune, uh, sensitive, nurturing, could be creative, could be quite lovely and peaceful to be around. They enjoy um, connection and they make their decisions from their heart. We have here Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. This could very well turn into a love reading, just the combination here. Um, this uh, We have either way, these opportunities flying towards you. This is not only going to fulfill you, like emotionally, there's passion attached to this and it's fiery passion with the wands. The wands represent all the go-go juice in life, all that, the doing. Uh, of life. And well, it, cups represent the emotion, the heart space. So you're getting a major offer coming towards you. And let's find out what kind of offer that is to the Capricorns that I'm speaking to. Let, but I first want to talk about the magician energy, what you're calling forth. Okay, so talk to me more about this magician energy. Ah, you're calling for, forth reciprocity, a gift, generosity, equal give and take. This is a beautiful card and not spoken about enough. Six of Pentacles, check it out, Google it. It's talking about like being recognized, being appreciated, but also feeling the same way toward another individual. That's why I say reciprocity. You can also be getting an enormous gift. Um, get a, And not necessarily a one-way track, of course, like I've, I made that a point, but like it's it's um, meeting an individual who loves you the way that you need to be loved. Like, remember the five love languages? Kind of like that. Um, they're in tune with you. This is Queen of Cups. Stop it! Nine of Cups. You don't even need to know Tarot to know that that is a very happy dude. So Nine of Cups is like right up there with the sun. It's one of the happiest Tarot cards. You're going to be very, very happy with this individual. Um, I feel very much like they're um, intuitive. They watch and they listen and they pay attention. And they're somebody who takes pride and is truly interested in understanding how they can connect with you the deepest. Um, so this person is not shallow. They're the opposite. They're sensual. They're, um, like I said, a, a sensitive, a naturally sensitive creature. Um, and they enjoy being in those senses. And so they are somebody you don't have to work very hard to connect with. And that's going to feel like six of, of pentacles here. And you manifested this, right? Ace of Wands. Whoa. Victor oh my God, this is going to be, <laughs> I'm going to just lose my shit over here. So if any of you guys had past sadness or um, a disappointment, like we all have lived some life, right? Uh, so that applies to everybody, but you are getting total victory over it. You're also gonna be, uh, you're gonna have some eyes on you. You're gonna have people noticing you. Um, you are gonna shine. People are gonna be able to feel your vibe and how different it is than this was, right? So 
you know, like there is this huge um, victory over any kind of past disappointment. You are fully, you have not gotten yet like the wheel or the, the world, um, but you have very much uh, any old chapter is finished feeling to your reading. Like this is something fresh and new. This is like a gift from the universe, you guys. Okay. Ace of Cups. Clarity on Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, here's our world card. There it is. So end of a stage. It is truly the end of a stage and the beginning of a new one. And life goes in stages. It goes in seasons, right? Just a week ago, it was snowing here. Um, and now we've got the sun out. Thank God. Oh my God. You got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is long term. This is long lasting. Love, legacy, stability. Look at the long game. What are we building with one another? This is definitely a love reading, you guys. I mean, if it's not love, then it's serious chemistry with somebody. Um, they are the beginning of your chapter. They are the beginning of your chapter. Here's the funny thing. This is why I started laughing. Is y'all got the uh, Knight of Swords upside down and then the Page of Swords upright. You, uh, <laughs> you, it seems like you guys are doing more snooping than talking directly with each other. And if this person has not come into your world yet, it feels like it will be soon. If we get Eight of Wands, it'll definitely be very soon. But this is somebody you might be seeing on online, like on social media, or they might be kind of looking you up. And it's like, they're just trying to learn more about you and uh, vice versa. It could be online dating because the Page of Swords talks about like fresh ideas, fresh communication, but it can all also be kind of like um, in this new age, um, kind of online stuff. Um, and the fact that you got the Knight of Swords, who's a huge communicator, uh, swift and direct, upside down, that tells me y'all are not yet at the point where you're just like, you know, exchanging safe words. <laughs> okay, here's this King of Pentacles. Talk to me about Capricorn. I feel like this could be, for a lot of you guys, your energy. Ah, so maybe there is some reprioritizing, some some uh, decisions to be made. Maybe sometimes at first you're feeling confused. You know, like, is this person for me? Is this person for me? That's the King of Cups. That is talking about the Queen of Cups because there's no two Queen of Cups in here. I am choosing to read. It feels right to read the King of Cups as this individual. So you may feel a little bit uh, cloudy or confused or trying to prioritize. That could even mean reprioritizing your time in order to make space for them. Uh, and you know, here's the thing is that when we meet people who just rock our worlds, guess what comes along with it? Vulnerability, huge vulnerability, and that can be uncomfortable. So that's just something to keep in mind is like, does it dredge up or trigger anything? It's not necessarily them, but it's, it's, touching on something, maybe an old um, fear or pain pathway. And it's an opportunity to work those kinks out, right? This person might, they're, they're probably different than anybody you've been with. And they are going to make you feel a little bit like a fish out of water. And maybe in a very fun way, a little self-conscious and that's all okay. It's all okay. So this is definitely, the King of Pentacles is definitely your energy. Um, and I feel like I'm here to tell you it's all okay. So it's um, like, we've got the, the hangman coming out with the Nine of Swords. So if there's some overthinking um, or if that person is not getting a hold of you or calling you back yet, you know, that's when those triggers come up. And I wouldn't be surprised if for some of you guys, these triggers are coming up because there's not the communication, uh, very direct uh, communication yet, but just, it takes time. So the hangman comes out uh, to remind us that we're getting perspective on something. And specifically, Capricorn, this is an opportunity to get perspective on yourself. That's why it's coming out. All of this is coming out. Um, in clarity to your energy, the King of Pentacles, is if this person isn't, person isn't getting back to you or coming along your path 
as quick as you'd like or responding the way you'd like, they look very special. They look very special, but it's an opportunity to assess any of those anxieties, anything that's coming up and, and like do some housekeeping because it's all yours and they're having their stuff too. But that's also the fun and the grit and what makes it scary and, am and amazing falling in love, uh, having a, a crush, infatuation, that's what creates the passion. That's what creates the spark. So this is, these are some major ingredients, but some housekeeping is um, maybe at play here. So, um, gosh, I love this reading, you guys. This is just gonna put a smile on my face for the rest of the day. So um, we're gonna now get major messages, just advice basically, and take that or leave it. You know, this is all energy um, that is changing, transforming, and this is just grabbing onto the energy at hand right now. So you have free will. We're gonna get a couple Oracle cards, but first from a new deck of tarot, just advice for my sweet Capricorns. Nice. So communication is here. This is, um, <coughs> this is asking you with a justice card to consider being as impartial or unbiased in a situation as possible, being willing to learn or master a state, uh, which is the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. It's, it's like, be logical. So we have a choice. We can go with our emotions when we're making decisions because our emotions are always there like a river running underneath everything. But here, this is saying, you know what? Communication and um, your ability to independently think about a situation using your old noggin and maybe even if it's not communication with this person, because you can debunk so much in just a simple discussion or a conversation. But if you're not there yet with this individual, if they haven't even come into your world just yet, um, this is an opportunity to work it out, talk it, talk through it with somebody else. Yeah, so it's like rational thought. And uh, I think Capricorns, you're right. You guys are pretty darn good with rational thought. Uh, it's just that this is like throwing you into your emotions, your feels big time. And that's just like, oh, unsettling. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get an Oracle card. This is from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. Uh, beautiful illustrations. I highly recommend checking it out if you are an Oracle person. We have Guardian Angel. You're not alone in all this. Isn't that a nice, nice thought? So that's the illustration. I'm gonna read just a few sentences. I don't want your eyes to glaze over. <laughs> And sometimes when I see somebody pick up a book, I'm like, oh, here we go. But um, these are really helpful, eh, if I can find it. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just getting over a cough. The presence of this card, the guardian angel, indicates your need for reassurance, direction, and protection, and invites you to enter the silence and connect with your guardian angel. Raise the vibration, even if you're talking and working it out logically with someone who's not there in the flesh. Raise the vibration of your request by being mindful of the quality of your thoughts and questions, as this in turn affects the response you will be given. Be patient and listen carefully as our angels often communicate in unexpected ways. 111, 222, look for those numbers, play the number game, boo. But always in accordance with the perfection of divine timing. Timing is huge, that's why the hanged man is coming out. This is about patience and observation and enjoy the ride. All right, you guys, please like, please subscribe. I will see you soon for your next readings. Take good care of yourselves.